As a public defender, Judge Karen fought for her client's rights. She was elected to the bench because she believes in doing the right thing. I'm very passionate about helping people, period. Sometimes life pulls you from up here to down here to teach you a lesson, and you're in a valley right now. There are lessons in this valley. I hope you learn from them. Objective, independent justice. You can always turn your life around. If you keep walking, you can overcome whatever circumstances you're facing. This is Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Gwendolyn Barth is suing artist Brooks Tamblin in the amount of $2,500. Ms. Barth claims Mr. Tamblin defamed her on social media after she sold one of his sculptures at her gallery. Mr. Tamblin is countersuing for $4,000. Ms. Barth, you're suing uh, Brooks Tamblin for $2,500 for uh, defamation of character, is that right? Yes. All right. And how do you know the defendant? Um, we've met at my gallery. I sold some of his friend's artwork mm -hmm. and he came with him and he started, we just started talking and he showed me some of his artwork. Right. He's a sculptor. So you own a gallery? I do. And how long have you owned the gallery? 15 years. 15 years. So what, in what medium are you an artist? Well, I do sculptures, uh, paintings, okay. really varieties of different arts. Okay. So you two hooked up at a party? Just friends, just conversation, yeah, I mean. Absolutely, yes, yeah. Yes, a okay. friend through a friend. Okay, and so then what happened at the party? Um, basically, it was just a little uh, art gathering, you know. Um, right. Pretty much everybody just comes and discuss what they're going to put on or what they've been working with. And um, my friend introduced me to her. She's very known, and I, I got to know her, and I asked her, can I put my stuff on display? And we right. kind of came to a little verbal to, agreement to put my so sculptures you, on display. You agreed mm -hmm. to display his work? Correct. Okay, and he said a verbal agreement. It's 15 years in the business. I know you don't enter into these agreements verbally. You know, honestly, Honor, you're, I do. Because she, she does. Yeah. I, I just have a deep love of art. Right. So it's always been by word of mouth, and I've never had a problem. This right. is the first time I've well, ever had a problem. Well, when someone consigns, like basically, uh -uh. a piece mm -hmm. with you, there mm -hmm. is an agreement about payment it's and kind how long of, this is yeah. going to be on display in your gallery. It's an industry standard, right. and it's 20% commission. Uh, okay, so but everything's nothing on commission. is in writing. Never been in writing, no. no. Not at That's all. why you're here now. I know. Yeah. That's why you're here now. Mm -hmm. So you agree to, do you have any uh, pictures of your work? Um, yes, I Let do. Let me see something um, that you've done. And um, did you believe, you, obviously you thought well I've, of his work that you agreed to, to put it on display in your gallery, right? When I, I still believe he's a very gifted artist. Yeah, okay. When I showed it to her, she loved almost every picture I showed to her. Um, okay. She really agreed yeah, really Yeah, art quick, is kind of in the instantly. eye of the beholder. Yeah. Yeah, I was an art history major, yeah. right. so. <laughs> and so what you beheld, you thought was, uh, it's kind of scary, your art, huh? Um, yeah, yeah. It, it just kind of well, I wouldn't want to wake up in the middle of the night and run into that piece of sculpture. Uh, it, it's a required taste. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, you know, have uh, certain likes and dislikes right. about it. But Had you sold anything before you put your work on display? Um, I've sold my own work, not at her gallery, okay. but I've sold my own work, yes. Okay, so you take his work in this one piece? Correct. I the just... one piece you showed me? Yes, it was that one piece. Okay, so how long is it in your gallery? We only had it, I only had it in there for a day. A day? Yes. A day. I, well, I was having wanted... a show the next night. Right. So I displayed it at the show and it just sold immediately. For how much? $5,000. $5,000. $5,000. That's nice. That's the biggest sale you had to date. Um, yes. That's yes. a lot of money for an artist. It, it really is. Right. And it, could, it could pay the bills, I'll tell you that. Right. Yeah. So, and your commission would have been $1,000 mm -hmm. of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, when did you find out that she sold the piece the first day? Um, I found out the first, I found out the second because I was there at the gallery that she was selling my sculpture. Oh, you at. were there at that event? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you knew that day mm -hmm. that it, it sold. Yes, I All knew right. once it was sold. I was there because obviously it's my artwork. Right. Yeah. Okay, so it sells now. Why haven't you paid him? This is the problem. I've never ever had a problem like this before. This right. is the first time. Excuses. Uh -huh. The next day, the next day, my gallery sprung a leak. 
uh -huh. there was a huge flood. Okay. And I had to take care of that immediately because okay. every, luckily none of the artwork was ruined. Well, you weren't there cleaning it all up yourself, right? You called a plumber in. Well, and I was worried cleaning. about mold setting in because it's an old building. Right. And my apartment is attached to the back of it. Okay. So it was like, I unfortunately, like it had thing. to be dealt with so immediately. So day two, the next and day, 24 hours later, you have a flood. Then, yes. I have Magically, just, out of okay, nowhere. Okay, how did the buyer pay for that piece of work? They paid by check and we still had to wait for the check to clear for three days. By check. So he the, or she writes a check? Yeah. Correct. Okay, that's day two. How long does it normally take a check to clear? Three days. Okay, so three days later, why didn't you pay him? Well, then I got a call from my sister that my mother fell and broke her hip. Okay, where is it? Magically. Mm. Where does your sister live? In Arizona. Okay, so and you so had to fly to Arizona I, now. I had to fly out to Arizona. My okay, sister, but just three days later, you should have had the money would have cleared. Because remember, the check only takes three days. What does it take? Five minutes to write a check or call them down and say, come get your money. I, I had well, already I left so. town, and I was so overwhelmed. You had with, left town when? At what point had you left town? I left town before the check cleared to so, go take care of okay, my mother. Okay, so you had left when then? We had day one. Correct. Uh, the, day, he, the wait, next day, day one, he sells. Correct. Next mm -hmm. day, there's a flood. We're Correct. now day two, which is really day one yeah. for check purposes. Yes. Correct. Then what? Then the next day, the I got the phone call. The very next day, your Correct. sister said, you got to come to Arizona. Uh -huh. And yes. did you leave that day or did you leave the next day? I left that night. You left that night to Arizona. Correct. Okay. Disappeared. Coming up on Supreme Justice. 30 days we're in Arizona, and in none of those days did you say, let me figure out a way to get this man his money? My mom broke her hip and I was running her to doctor's appointments. It was just not Excuses. on my mind. I was so overwhelmed. And later. So it's you, just the people at the a, table are invited yes, to, yes, to get a, up and smash a plate, but on the floor It's there. a good luck thing. It's, it's... Well, it was it good luck for you? <laughs> <laughs> no, Your Honor, it was not. Closed captioning provided by... If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Supreme Justice is back with the case of Gwendolyn Barth, who is suing Brooks Tamblin for defamation of character. Okay, so now we're in Arizona. I'm trying to follow the money mm -hmm. here. So we now are in Arizona, then what happened? I ended up having to stay with my mother for a month because there was okay. no one else to take care of but her. But you had access to your bank account. You, know, you ever heard of a wire transfer? Well, he didn't. He wasn't no, no. set up to receive a wire. The agreement was to pay in cash. What? Yeah, but there was an agreement to pay three days later after the mm -hmm. check cleared. Yeah. You didn't honor that part of the agreement. I could have set up. He, I could have set it he, up. You don't have a bank account? I don't have a bank well, account, but I can... Well, how is she going to pay you then? But I can set it up easily. I mean, there's all different types of, well, you know, wires. Wait a second. See, we but don't I've have never a had writing. This it's all verbal. Yeah. How was he supposed to be paid? I was going to pay him in cash. So yeah. you, she's in Arizona and you're looking for cash. Yeah, I just, that's really, I need my money. So I 30, was never days, not 30 days we're in Arizona and in none of those days did you say, let me figure out a way to get this man his money? My mom broke her hip and I was running her to doctor's appointments. It was just not Excuses. on my mind. I was so overwhelmed. Let me ask you this question. That uh, place that you have, is it yours or you're renting? I run everything by myself. So right. I had to close okay, my gallery for Okay, well you were paying those bills while you were going, right? You were paying your lease on the uh, gallery. You were paying your lights. You were paying the, the rent on your apartment. You were paying all that while you were paying gone, right? Leak. Paying yes. the leak as well. You were well. paying your credit card bills and everything else, right? You didn't file bankruptcy while you were gone. No, but this... Everybody else got paid while you were gone, right? Correct. Okay. So but now we're 30 days in. Then what? Then he goes and posts on Facebook that I'm a liar and mm -hmm. that I'm a cheat. Right. Yep. And... Another artist that I was commissioned to work with uh -huh. that was a guaranteed person to come in uh -huh. sends me, and this uh -huh. is, I, you can take a look at the email. Uh -huh. um, I, I don't know if I, that he uh -huh. was no longer going to work with you're me. Saying, because you're suing him because you've lost the uh, potential you, sale. Right, because he went on the internet and said that you stole his money. Correct. And that you refused to pay him. I'm not refusing to is pay him. Is this what he said? That yes, you refused yes, to pay exactly. him? That it's about $4,000? Correct. Right? And that the first time you didn't pay him because you had a leak, did he say all this online? No. He just went, he said, well, he said I was making up excuses. And I right. have proof of all of this. Right. It's not like I'm making this up. Right. This Let has never happened Let me before. see the proof about the flood. This has never happened before. Let me see the proof about the flood. You're don't send me a bunch of papers. Let me see the proof about the flood. You're, you're um, I don't have proof Stop. in here. I Stop don't. A second. I don't have proof of okay, the flood in here. Okay, give me a clue. Let me see the flight to Arizona. 
Well, I, I can, I don't have my phone with me, but I have. Okay, nothing in Arizona, huh? That, that's why I said, okay. excuse me. Flight back home. When did you get back to New York? A week ago. I oh, you're just getting in, back I stayed in? in New York. I, so it's almost 60 days have gone by. Yeah. Why yeah. haven't you paid the man his money? Because he cost me money at this point. Now, I, I mean, it's How about... How much money has he cost you? $2,500. Okay, you Lies. got somebody that's going to come in here and tell me that he or she was prepared to pay you $2,500, but based on things they read well, about that, you... Well, that, that I do wrote. have proof of. Okay, I, have, I don't take hearsay statements. No, I have. It's an email. No. <laughs> Definition of hearsay, it's an out-of-court statement yeah. mm -hmm. being offered in court okay. for the truth of what's asserted in the statement. Therefore, it's hearsay. Mm -hmm. And I, even if he was here, I tell you, it wouldn't matter to me because you haven't proven that what he said was a lie. You had not paid yeah. this man money. You At promised all. him you were going to pay him. You're going to pay me in three days. All these things happened. That ain't his problem. It's, it's your problem. This has never happened to well, me before. Yes, I don't have a reputation uh, for this. You have countersued for the four thousand dollars. Yes, I should have countersued for more, but right. you know, well, I'm trying to be reasonable. Most of the stress and all of that. Yeah, right? yeah. Were yeah, you know. able to pay your rent? Were um, you able to pay your rent while you she know, was in Phoenix? At the end of the day, I did come up with the money, but. Right. Who says I wanted to have a hassle like that? Right. You know, not everybody wants to go out on the streets and hustle and make their right. money. Right, so you the had to way. hustle to make it. Yes. And you worked hard on that sculpture. Yes, I put in several hours. I mean, you can look at the sculpture. It looks very nice. I, I'd say she loved it when she seen it. I mean, scary. unless... Scary. I mean, no. just thinking about it scares me. <laughs> maybe, maybe you could buy it for 8000 for the feelings. Right. Uh, right. <laughs> All right, so I'm ready to rule. I'm going to, uh, as to your claim of $2,500, I am ruling in favor of the defendant. Thank you. And as to your, because it was all true, mm -hmm. and as to the counterclaim for $4,000, you know you owe him $4,000. That verbal agreement says you do. So judgment for the defendant in the amount of $4,000, you have three days from today to pay him cash. All right, good luck to you. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff is ordered to pay $4,000. I can't believe you weren't more understanding about all of the things that I was going through. Show me the money, not the excuses. Coming up. We're having a great time, and I, my art, eye coordination was a little wrong, and I threw right. the plate, and it right. hit the edge of the table, and right. it happened to land in her eye. But... Right. Do you have the medical bills for that? Yes, ma'am. Why don't you think you're responsible for this? Because we gave clear instruction on how to do it. Closed captioning provided by. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Bristol Willis is suing restaurant owner Lazaros Patras in the amount of $2,500. Ms. Willis claims she suffered an eye injury after the defendant insisted she participate in a Greek plate smashing ritual. This is for personal injury, is that right? Yes, Your Honor. And you're the owner of a Greek restaurant? Yes, ma'am. And, and so how did you come into contact with the defendant, ma'am? Um, I was recently celebrating a promotion, uh -huh. and so my friends and I were looking for a restaurant to go to to celebrate. My friend Finn had suggested his restaurant, Mr. Patrice's, as okay. we'd seen it on a food blog okay. that we follow. And um, it sounded great, I love Greek food. Okay. And so we made reservations for that evening. I'm a flight attendant and I've been working this terrible route from LAX to Reno. And I finally got a promotion from LAX to New York City. Oh, okay, that's so, a good one there. Yeah, <laughs> so I was really excited. All right, so then what happened then? As my friend Finn was toasting me to celebrate my promotion, the mm -hmm. waiter was clearing the plates and he heard um, Finn's toast. So he went over to Mr. Patras told him we were celebrating. Did your waiter come over and tell you that they were celebrating her uh, new uh, flight pa pattern? Well, he came over and said they were celebrating something. I don't know if right. it was at that moment right. that I knew it was the flight attendant promotion uh -huh. thing, but it's something, it happens in our restaurant a lot. In fact, on the blog that they saw, right. it says it's a place for celebration, right. and I think it says something about expect to break some plates, because that's oh. what we do. What do you do? What is this it's, plate it's, breaking? It's a very old Greek tradition. Right. I don't know where it started. Um, so it's you, just, you, it's, you break perfectly good plates? Well, <laughs> we break plates. But because we're going to be breaking plates, I actually have a supplier who gives me, who sells me plaster plates uh -huh. that we use only for breaking. We say, oh, oh we yeah, smash the plate right. and it's Don't a they big get on noise. top of the tables and all? No. Coming up. He went to throw it on the ground, but he missed and hit the edge of the table. Uh -huh. And it was at that point that the plate shattered and a shard went into my eye. 
closed captioning provided by. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Supreme Justice is back with the case of Bristol Willis, who is suing Lazaros Patras for medical expenses. Okay, and then what happened with this plate thing? So, um, Mr. Patras started smashing plates and yelling mm -hmm. things in Greek, which right. was cool, fine, right. whatever. Just fine. smashing them. Just throwing them on the ground. Right. Smash them on the ground. He said right. you had to smash them on the ground. Okay, did you're saying you weren't the cause of what ha happened to her. Uh, what did you bring I, me? I have you on the receipt from mm -hmm. the meal is also in there that we comped. It's, it'll show you that we comped that. Okay. Which we would have paid if I hadn't had to rush off to the emergency room. If I, if I can clarify. So we go to a table, they're having a celebration. Opa, uh, the waiters, and we take a plate and we smash it on the floor and we show them, the waiter will show them, right. and it takes a little bit of coaxing, right. you know, at right. times, but there's very little coaxing on, on their part. Right, so it's you, just the people at the a, table are invited yes, to, yes, to get a, up and smash a plate, but on the floor It's there. a good luck thing. It's, it's, well, it was it good luck for you? <laughs> <laughs> no, Your Honor, it was not. What happened? Uh, so, uh, Mr. Patras insisted that I smash a plate, and I was hesitant at first because, much like yourself, I thought, oh, that sounds like a terrible idea. Right. Um, but I did. I smashed one, and it was really fun, and, you know, Opa. Yeah. Um, and so some of the other members of my party started smashing them as well, including my friend Finn. Uh -huh. And unfortunately, Finn had had a little more to drink than some of the rest of us. Right. And his hand-eye coordination isn't the best to begin with anyways. Okay. And so he went to throw it on the ground, but he missed and hit the edge of the table. Uh -huh. And it was at that point that the plate shattered and a shard went into my eye. Mr. Patras came over and insisted I try to flush it out with water or try to rub the right. shard out of my eye, which only made it worse. Right. Is Finn here? Yes, he is, Your Honor. He's All right, let me witness. hear from Finn. Yes, Court ma calls Finley Richardson. Judge Karen's verdict when Supreme Justice returns. Promotional consideration provided by. You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. So what happened when you were smashing the plates? So, you know, we had a couple of entrees and, of course, some wine, and uh, we were having a great time, and... I, my eye coordination was a little wrong, and I threw right. the plate, and it right. hit the edge of the table, and right. it happened to land in her eye. But right. Do you have the medical bills for that? Yes, ma'am. Why don't you think you're responsible for this? Because we gave clear instruction on how to do it, and uh, Mr. Richardson right. broke it on the table but instead of the But if you saw us drinking and have right. all these wine bottles that you also okay, brought to us. Okay, we don't do that here. Y'all wanted to talk. Y'all should have done that outside. So it's $2,500 in damages, medical damages. Yes, ma'am. The thing is, is this is your uh, little thing with these plates. They didn't come in there to throw plates. They didn't even say, hey, when are we going to break plates? You came over and said, hey, Mishnos, bring some plates to the table. And I would think you should have insurance to cover this. Well, may I answer the question regarding... No, do you have insurance to cover it? We have insurance, yes. Okay, well, then you can you know, try to be reimbursed for this through your insurance company. And you need to question whether or not it really is that important to have this plate-breaking stuff. You need to decide, is it worth maybe you coming into court and it could have been a lot more serious than this. All right, I'm ready to rule judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $2,500. Good luck to you. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $2,500. Well, I think today shows that you need to change your traditions because breaking plates is just way too dangerous. Look, I already comped your bill, and now I got to pay for damages that your friend caused. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.